I am the commander of many armies, defender of Rome, loyal servant to the emperor. I have stood on blood-soaked ground with the howl of the wretched haunting each sound. I have felt the hottest flames of battle pulsing, pushing, burning through veins. I have skewered flesh on metal, pierced life from limb, and forced the light in a man's eyes to go quickly dim. I am a centurion, and I have seen death. Yes, I have seen death, but never death like this. The place of the skull is ready. The place where flesh is stripped from bone. And humanity is stripped from us all. I have not given it a second thought until this day, until this breath, until this hour. But now the skull demands its kill, and the hellish hordes are hungry to devour. God have mercy on us all.
Jesus. Wave them out to the King of Kings. The lover of your soul. The lover of your soul. Hey. Your love is kind. Hey. Your love is patient. You
you would have been under the grace had it not been for his love. You would not be standing here. You are not better than those people who are under the breach. Come on, somebody celebrate that song one more time.
to sing to him.
opportunity to tell their father. He's waiting to hear how good he is. Tell him. three editions. I will always <laughs> worship you. <laughs> Baba, Baba, as long as I am breathing, I will always worship you. Hey, I have nobody to bow to but you. And I will not be silent. I will always worship you. As long as long, Lord. As long as. We do it one more time. One more time, all over this building, say. Problem can stop me from singing it all. It belongs to you, Jesus. That's what we came to do. We didn't come for any superstar. <laughs> we came for the one superstar that we know. Superstar that can solve problems. Superstar that can roll away mountains. Superstar. We came for you, Jesus. 
That's why we're here. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. I came to worship. I came to worship. I came to lift up holy hands and to say to you, thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the working of the blood of Jesus in my life. Angels don't understand how that sinful men, <laughs> sinful men can lift up their hands and worship this God. And this God will accept worship. They don't understand the working of the blood of Jesus in the life of a mortal. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Can incense rise tonight? Can we just open up our mouth and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost? Oh, Rabba Hassan, Tafita, let the Kita. Let incense rise tonight. Oh, Shiana, Hallelujah. We will do that song one more time. We will do it one more time.
the Lord mighty in battle. Oh, we lift up our hands to the Father of lights tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for all you have brought us through. Thank you for your mercy that shines bright on us.
Just go ahead, just go ahead, just go ahead, just go ahead. Are you waiting for a song? Come on, just go ahead and worship your father. Some of you have to lose yourself this evening. Come on. Some of you just need to lose yourself this evening. There's a lot God wants to do. You just need to lose yourself. Open. Oh, Rabba Kataya Palahas.
us play very long. Oh, yeah, why is it the Mosia of Yakute? Oh, no. seconds just go ahead and pour out your worship on your father just go ahead and pour out your worship to him this evening come on just go ahead and pour it out to him just go ahead and pour it out to him. just go ahead and pour it out hey banana come on close it just go ahead, come on, just go ahead, wherever you are, everywhere in this building, go ahead and pour your worship to your Father. So I bow before your throne. I worship at your feet. I bow before your throne. You are the glorious God. That's why I bow before your throne. I worship at your feet. Hey, I bow.
whose voice will sound like Thor. Hey, we glorify your name. Hey, 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 hey. I like what I know. The one with eyes of fire.
too faithful to fail me. And you're too faithful to leave me halfway. Oh, Jesus, you've proven yourself in my life. Too faithful to fail me. You're too faithful to fail me, Jesus. In every way, you've proven yourself in my life. times in my seasons in your hands. Oh, you call for life out of darkness. You don't need a man to be the God you are. Very simple.
So I'll give you two minutes. You're just going to do it anyhow you want to do it. On your knees, you want to lie anyhow. Just remember one thing God has done and just worship him. Just remember one thing God has done. Anyhow you want to do it, anyhow you want to worship your father, just remember that thing, that particular thing he has done. Anyhow you want to do it. There is, there is, there is, there is fullness of joy here. There is pleasure. Anyhow you want to do it, just go ahead. You want to lie, you want to roll, you want to kneel, you want to stand. Just remember that one thing. What no man can do. That's what you have done for me. What no man can do. You have done for me. What no man One more time, I'd like you to reminisce. Look back at what God has done for you. That you are alive today. That you are still breathing today. That you have a roof over your head today. That you are where you are today. I'd like you to look back at what God could have done that. If I had most of all, no man could have kept you alive. In the midst of all the tragedies happening everywhere, all the perils that is happening everywhere, yet you are still standing. Why don't you just rise up on your feet, lift up your voice. Just lift up your voice and let God hear that voice of gratitude let God hear that voice of appreciation Lord if it were not for you oh God what the enemy planned would have would have would have happened in my life oh God that I'm see where I am today is by your mercy and by your grace why don't you just lift up your voice and let God hear your voice of appreciation and thanksgiving hallelujah thank you Jesus precious Jesus we thank you Lord we are grateful oh God Thank God because, oh God, I am not where I used to be, oh God. Even though I have not gotten to where I am going, but at least I am not where I used to be. Thank you, Lord, because I'm still breathing, oh God.
you can bring the spirit, just say it in the spirit. If you can sing in your own language, in whatever means you want to express your gratitude to Him, let God hear your voice. In another, in any way, in whatever means you want. In Jesus' precious name, we are grateful. Can someone do something for God as you are there? what your neighbor is doing for God. I say do something for God as you are led. As the spirit leads you. You want to jump, you jump. You want to roll, you roll. You want to spin, you spin. In whatever way you want to give him gratitude tonight. In another way, you just want to stand and give him worship. You just want to speak in tongues. Just do something, uh, just do something for the King uh, of Kings, uh, the Lord of Lords, the one who was, who is, and who is to come, uh, the one whom we have come to worship tonight, uh, the one who kept us alive. Do something for Him. come up. I need some of you to come up. I need some of you to come up. The man you say is coming. Now listen to me. I'm so particular about this song. Each time I think of where I'm coming from, I will always want to say thank you, Jesus. I had several friends that we all got initiated in the Vikings confraternity at the same time, this year, the same period. But none of them today is standing where I'm standing today. None of them is shouting to Jesus that I'm shouting today. None of them have what I have today. But so each time Next time I stand before the Lord, I just get so, I, I get so particular about this song. The man you save, I just come to worship you. I, I don't know your situation. I don't know where you've been with God. I don't know what God, it could be the man who you healed has come to worship you. The man you protected has come to worship you. In whatever way God has touched you, I need you to sing that song. Please let us hear that song.
1994, five of us were supposed to, from Abia State University, we were supposed to go to a suit in Enugu State to carry out a heat. We were all gadgeted up with all our paratools. Walking towards the gate, some of my classmates accosted me. And they said to me that there is an assignment that you need to submit. And that course is a prerequisite. Because, because if you don't pass it, you have to, it's automatic one year. And they persuaded me, my friends. The other four, they were just moving. And I pleaded with them. I said, please just give me a few moments. Let me deal with this. I'll join you. I got back to where they were supposed to wait for me, they had all gone. And they went for that heat, carried out that heat, and it was successful. On their way back, mobile police accosted them along the Enugu or Kigwe Expressway. Somehow, brought them out, searched them, saw guns with them, and shot four of them, and four of them died. And that is why I've come to see. And you have come to see. Has come to worship you. Mother, oh, you I don't know the situation. You I don't know what situation that God has come to worship Your case could be near death situation. against all odd. We have to hold this edition against every odd. Standing and, you know, looking at us. I have my father-in-law lying there at the morgue to be buried the next month and a lot of money but God, she said, and I looked at this I said, no, nothing is enough to take my worship from God. Let the dead bury the dead. You are here not by your own making, but God has brought you here to bless you tonight. Now, if you are that person, I'd like you to shout a big Amen. hallelujah. And please put those hands together for Jesus and comfortably be seated. Looking at back at the first time we began 2012, September 
31st, 2012, and September 30th, thereabout, and up to this moment. And I told my daughter today, my daughter asked me, Daddy, what edition is this? And I said, 33rd edition. She said, huh? 33rd edition. Apart from the curfew that <laughs> nothing can stop us again. You are welcome to this 33rd edition of Moment of Worship at the Mercy Throne. This is a place where mercy prevails. This is a place where mercy speaks. And blind Bartimaeus hallowed. He says, David, thou son. He says, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy. And at the mention of that word, mercy, heaven stood still. Heaven is standing still for someone here tonight. Heart. Moment of worship at the mercy throne is not a concert. This is a platform where true worshipers come to worship God in spirit and in truth. Now please can I say this? I need to reiterate this. Moment of worship is not for unbelievers. But one good thing about moment of worship at the mercy throne, you can come as an unbeliever, but you cannot live here as an unbeliever. Because the mercy of God will definitely speak for you. And things will begin to change and turn around for your good. Now in this edition, what is God saying? What does God want to do? Now I'm going to take my test from 1 Samuel chapter 30. I read from verse 1 down. He said, And it came to pass when David and his men were come to Ziklag. And the th on the third day that the Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziklag and smitten Ziklag and burned it with fire and had taken the women captive that were therein. They slew not any, either great or small, but carried them away. And went on their way. So David and his men came to the city. And behold, it was born with fire. And their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captives. Then David and, his, and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept. Until they had no more power to weep. And David's two wives were taken captive. Ahinoam, the Jezreelite, and Abigail, the wife of Nabal, the Carmelite. And David was greatly distressed for the people speak of stoning him because the soul of all the people was grieved. Every man for his sons and, every, and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. And David said to Abiathar, the priest, Ahimelech's son, I pray thee, bring me hither the effort. And Abiathar brought thither the effort to David. And David inquired at the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them, and without fail, recover all. I don't know your situation. I don't know what you have lost. In some of us situation is like David here and his people. You have wept and wept. You have cried. You have shed secret tears. Wet your pillows with your tears every night till you have no power to weep anymore. But I want to announce to you That the place of worship is like the effort. It's a place where you come to inquire of the Lord. It's a place where you come to ask the Lord. The Bible said in, in Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3 or thereabouts. It said, call upon me and I will do what? And I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things. Now so many of us, we are one instruction away from our miracles. One instruction from the Lord away from our miracles. 
There's a place, moment of worship at the mercy throne or any place where worship abides, where there is worship, is a place where God speaks. It's a place of inquiry. You know, it's not a place where you come to enjoy music. You come to, you come to score music. You come to see, you know, the faces of the people that are singing. You want to know who sang well and who did not sing well. No, it is a place of inquiry. It's a place where you come bowing your knees and say, God, I am distressed. God, I've been in this challenge. This challenge has weighed me down for so long. Lord, what do I do to get out of this situation? What is the way out, oh God? And as you worship him at the mercy throne, as you worship him with your voice lifted and your heart open to him, God will begin to speak to you. Now, mind you, listen to me. David asked God two questions and God answered him three. Gave him three answers. He says, shall I pursue? Will I overtake? And that was it. No wonder the Bible says that he was able to do exceedingly, abundantly above all that we ask or think. God gave him an exceeding answer. He gave him an abundant answer. He said, go ahead, pursue them. I'm with you. You will surely overtake them. You will not just overtake them. You will do what you will recover all. You will recover both that that is yours and that that is not yours. Amen. Now, this season is a season of recovery. I don't know what the devil has stolen from you. The devil must have stolen your relationship from you. There is a new relationship coming. Something better for you. The devil must have stolen your promotion. There is a new promotion coming for you. The devil must have stolen your job. There is a new job coming from you. The devil must have got your, 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 your business stagnated uh, and is rejoicing, thinking that he has won. Ha! 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 Announce to you that you will pursue this night. Uh, you will overtake this night. Uh, and you will recover all that the devil has stolen from you. All you need to do is just open your heart. Now please, let this edition not just be like any other edition where you just come to sing and dance and, uh, and appreciate the voices. That's why you see in moments of worship, we are not focused on any minister. Amen. Nobody knows that you are coming. You just come and lead us. If anybody recognizes you, please praise God. But it's all about God. And when you focus on God, God will focus on you. And when God focuses on you, all things begin to turn around for you. Please, I'd like you to open up your heart. Now, this is what you are going to do in the midst of worship tonight. Lord, what do I do to get pregnant? Lord, what do I do to get my relationship back? Lord, what do I do to position myself? Someone, that sickness that has held you bound for long is just an instruction, just one instruction. Drop this habit and everything will go. Just do an instruction away from your miracle. Open up your heart to him and God will speak to you. Now hear me. God will not just speak to you. He speaks only to those that are his. I don't know if you are not tired of that situation. If you are tired of that situation, your decision, you must take this decision now. Please come up again. God speaks to his people. He said, my sheep hear my voice. The Lord is my shepherd that shall not want. Until the Lord becomes your shepherd, you remain in that situation. Like I said, your case might be one habit that you need to drop. One forgiveness that you need to give some, somebody. One step that you need to take and things will turn around for you. Can you bow down your head? Now, this is a moment of sincerity. You have not come to see me. so much in this program just to ensure that something happens to you. It's as many that receives. It's only those that receive. 
as many that receive to them he has given it's only those that receive when he calls it's only those he said I stand at the door of your heart and I knock if you don't open I will not come in I will not purge into you no I will not come into I will not just no if you knock and you if I knock and you open I will come in and I will change things around for you I love you forever now before you sing that song we're going to take this song just in a few seconds, but you need to take that decision. Lord, I am tired of this situation. I need to hear you today. I need you to be my shepherd. In case God is not yet your shepherd, you have not settled scores with him. This is a place of mercy. As we take this song, I'd like you to rise up on your feet anywhere you are and come to the front here and settle that case. Lord, look my heart. I've been far away from you. I've gone far from you. I need to recover everything that the devil has stolen from me. But Lord, I need to reconcile back to you. Wherever you are, sit anywhere you are. Don't wait until this song finishes. Run out from your seat. Come down to this place and surrender all to him. Let's hear it. upon me. Forgive me. I've been in and out of your kingdom. I've been in and out of your presence. But today, Lord, I come to plead for your mercy. I am tired, oh God. I am tired. I need to recover all that the devil has stolen from me. Wherever you are, you want to say, Jesus, I want to reconcile back to you. Quickly, don't be ashamed. Come out of this place and let God hear you tonight. But I want to settle. My cause with God today. I want to settle with Jesus today. Jesus, it is you that I've sinned against. I need to settle with you tonight. Le brother Zuma and I just stepped out to get something on my way back I saw someone from far talking to Zuma and Zuma was broken the Bible says the word of God is is a double edged sword when you hear the word the word must pierce you but it's what you do with that word that matters the decision that you take young man preached to Zuma and it got to the point where Zuma was to make that decision that would have changed his life and the guy Zuma was almost stretching out his hand to just take that decision that would have just saved him and I walked in and I hushed him I said Zuma wait me this wait me this this man weighed on out of frustration they serve God now you won't follow and Zuma looked at him 
And he said, big Charlie, I know that one day I will give my life to Christ. Brethren, that day never came for Zuma. On the 8th of that same month, four days after, that clash became so fierce, we took it outside. And the same devil that we paid obeisance and we, 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 we were loyal to, it was the same devil that set us up. We went out, carried the war out. We were shooting, not knowing that police people were positioned. The same devil positioned, set us up. We ambushed and police began to shoot. Zuma was shot. Two other people, three other people were shot. And I escaped. Not because I was smart. Not because, no. I escaped because God knows that today I will stand to talk to somebody here. I don't know. We're going to take that song. Please just pardon us. Please. I don't know why I'm taking this time, but it is important. It is important that somebody, that somebody takes a decision. It's possible that you're thinking, if I take this decision, what will happen? Will I see you? Enjoy what I'm enjoying? Will I still benefit from that my boyfriend that is giving me? You will gain more, much more. Please just say this song two times more. I will pray for this one. I love you. I love you forever. If you love him. I love you forever. This glory of God ready. You want to take Jesus. I love you because you first loved me. Now those of you standing here, go before him and talk to him. Please, in his presence. Just say this word after me, Lord Jesus. I come before your mercy throne. I surrender all to you. Have mercy upon me. Forgive me of all my unrighteousness. Lord, cause me to hear you tonight. Everything that the devil has stolen from me as a consequence of what I've done, Lord, cause me to recover them today. Thank you for your blood that was shed for me. Thank you, everlasting Father, in Jesus' precious. Father, thank you for this once. They have come before your mercy throne, Lord. Lord, have mercy upon them. Forgive them, O God. Give them the power to live right for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now, please, look at, just follow this woman. There is a very important instruction. There is a very, very important instruction that she will give to you. Just follow them. God bless you. God bless you, Rigo. Now, the rest of you, please bow down your head. Talk to God. What do you want to hear him? In what area do you want to recover him? In what area? God is here tonight. Please don't limit him. In what area? What, what is it that the devil has stolen from you that you want to recover? Lord, show me. Tell me. Tell me what to do. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now some of you, now you have to be very sensitive from tonight. Some of you, God will be waking you up at the middle of your night, your dream. He was going to show you. He's going to tell you. Some of you, you are going to hear him right here. That's, that's longing, that longing question, that question that you have been seeking for answer, you're going to get it here today before you leave. And the Lord will cause you to recover all that the devil has stolen from you. Can you celebrate Jesus Christ? Can you celebrate him? Once again, put your hands together to the glory of God. I need you to be a prophet to your neighbor this evening. Say to the person, whatever he says to you tonight, do. Hallelujah. All right, very quickly. Owner of car number AD902.
DE. A Toyota Corolla, please. There's an emergency at the car park. You will need you to repack your car. AKD 902DE. A Toyota Corolla. Hallelujah. All right, at this point in the service, we would permit you to bring out your phones and do one thing. We want to share what we're enjoying here so that the rest of the world can partake. We're live on all social media pl platforms. Please bring out your phones. And we need you to like the page and then share so that other people can partake in this blessing. Are we ready? Go to Facebook, MOWTV. Stands for Moment of Worship TV. But on Facebook, it's MOWTV. Please, you see the live field there. Kindly share on Facebook. Then on YouTube, we are on Moment of Worship TV. Moment of Worship at the Mercy Throne. That's the full name. Moment of Worship at the Mercy Throne on YouTube. Again, on Facebook, we are on MOWTV. Kindly like the page. And then share the service that is going on. Hallelujah. Is somebody tired? You want more? You want more? Are you ready for more? Hallelujah. Glory of God Music Drama Concepts Revealing the tactics of the enemy and our victory in Christ Jesus You accuser, you have no place in my life Glory of God Music Drama Concepts Drama Beyond Ordinary Today is my deliverance in the name of Jesus You may kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel Follow on Facebook or Instagram at Glory of God Music Drama Concepts Say the devil is wicked. I am sick. I am broke. You are singing my praises. Sing my praises. <laughs> when you complain, oh, life is not going well. The devil is so wicked. Things are not working out for me. Oh, this devil is wicked. You are singing my praises. <laughs> Sing my praises. First on my list, Master, we have Complainer Ketu. Oh, uh, and what's the problem? He's complaining of sickness <sighs> that the devil has afflicted him. My body. Oh, <laughs> my body. yes, he keeps complaining. My body. <laughs> the more he complains, the more he's singing my praises, <sighs> and the more he's opening doors <sighs> unto me to afflict him the more. <laughs> uh, my body, I am sick. Hey, devil, you will not kill me. Hey, the devil is wicked. I am sick. Hey, my body, my body. Hey, I've been sick for long now. Oh, yes. Where will this sickness go? The devil, you are wicked. The devil has afflicted me. Hey, hey. All right, we don't have much time to waste on this fool complainer. Put more sicknesses on him, more afflictions, because his complaints has opened doors for us to continue to afflict him. Do it now! Yes, master! <sighs> the sickness is just getting worse. The sickness is getting worse. <laughs> Yeah, we continue to sit. We complaining now. You are you are giving us glory. We complaining. Continue to sit. Nonsense. 
Next on my list. Master, it is a lady or a lady. Oh, I love ladies. <laughs> hey, devil wicked. Devil, you wicked, Sha. Ah, see me. I don't the old. Sing my praise. And I never marry. Oh, my men don't get children. <laughs> when I want to I don't know. Eh, I never marry as I find rich. Uh -oh. Ah, devil, you wicked. Are you wicked. just getting to know? <laughs> Sing my praise, ah, lady. Devil, you wicked. Sing my praise. You wicked. The more you complain, the more you are giving me praises. <laughs> my boy. Yes, master. I don't know. Tell me, what are the good things that she has? Master, she has good health. She has good job. In fact, we can't stop mentioning her. You know, she has plenty, plenty good things around her. But she doesn't want to thank the one who is above for the good things she has. Instead, she is complaining about the things that she doesn't have. You see, they are fools. And her complaints has now opened more doors unto me to destroy the good things she has. It is written, do all things without complaint. Philippians 2, 14. I know the scripture. And when you break the edge, the serpent will bite. And I am the serpent that bites. <laughs> because she has complained. Lose your job. Lose your job. Lose, Lose your job. job. Lose, Lose your job. job. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Daniel. Hello, Bessie. Yes. Eh, see, I don't know what happened. No. All of a eh. sudden, just now, eh. Oka just talks, say, eh, eh, the company no longer need your service. Why? What's it happen? I don't know. What's it happen now? Me, I don't know. I don't know. What's Have you offended Oka? No. <laughs> Because you don't say me the type your sack later. Ah, hey, Not anybody saying no. I tell you, I just make ah. I give you up it because you're my friend. Hey, hey, no, no. Ah, 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 my heart. Oh yes. My heart. Oh yes. Ah, 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 somebody help! Help! Complainer! Somebody help me! Complainer! Ah, ah, Fool! Ah. And this is the beginning of more problems as long as she continues to complain. Bring me next on the list! Master, the next on the list is that man that does not complain. Oh, he does not complain. No matter what, he does not complain. And it has made it really difficult for us to be able to, to increase his problem. Where is he? Master, look at him coming. Oh. No matter the beat that they beat him, he will not complain. No matter the suffering, he will not complain. No matter the sickness, he will not complain. No matter the shame, he will not complain. No matter the distress, in fact, me, I, I am tired. I have given up on him. I'm the one complaining now. Uh, I see. He's just a small boy. When we touch on him, he will give up. Beat him! Ah! Thank you, Jesus. Ah! Ah! Thank you, Jesus! You are worthy! You are worthy! Jesus, you are worthy! We are tired, though! He's the one that is even suffering more than all the people who have been complaining, yet he's not complaining. What should we do, Master? Keep on beating him, fool! Make his punishment double harder! <laughs> no matter what I go through, Jesus, you deserve my praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let God be true in my life. God, you are true. For your word says, with long life you will satisfy me. Your word says, by your stripes I am healed. Your word says, you sent your word and you delivered all. Jesus, I choose to believe in your word. We are tired. I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. I'm not doing it again, I'm tired. I'm tired. Shut up. We cannot let him escape. Ah! Put my problem, put my problem on him. Put my problem on it! Yes, Master! Yes! Oh. <laughs> I told you! Small boy, small boy. I am not getting.
giving up. Jesus, you deserve my praise. I thank you, Jesus. Jesus, you deserve my worship. Jesus, to you alone be praised. Oh, 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 No, 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 no. Stop. Stop, stop. Oh. Somebody give him praise. Somebody give him praise. Can somebody give the Lord a shout of hallelujah? Wow. 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 Amen. Somebody still complaining. You can't complain anymore. Ah. Lift your hands and say, Lord, I complain no more. Mm. Ah, God sends a prophet 
to a king. And he said, go tell the king that I said should prepare himself. He's about to die. Put your house in order. So the prophet went to the palace and saw the king and said, I have a word from the Lord for you. King said, speak. He said, thus saith the Lord, put your house in order because you are about to die. And the prophet turned to leave. And the king turned his face to the wall. And he said, Lord, I'm a good king. I've served you. I didn't follow the ways of my forefathers. I give to the poor. I brought down the idols. God said, yes, I know. But it's time to come home. I've been paying my tithe for years. God said, I know. But it's time to come home. Any more? And he said, one more. God said, speak. And he said, Lord, you are about to take me to the grave. The grave cannot praise you. The grave cannot praise you. The prophet was at the door, still in the palace. And God said, turn back and go back to the king. And said, 15 more years because you will praise me. You have survived coronavirus. You have survived accidents and terrible situations. Are you here with your praise tonight? Let the living praise the Lord. I'm not in the grave. I'm not in the grave. I'm alive. Your hands are working. Put your hands together. Sump upon your feet. Every living soul. Lift your voice and praise him. 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 For the next two minutes, sing your own song. Lead yourself in worship. Ah. Lead yourself in praise. I, I didn't come to sing for you. I came to Woo. sing for him. Sing ah. your own song for the king and for your master. <laughs> Lift your voice and worship Woo. for the next two minutes. Uh. Yes. Jesus. Jesus.
Oh, 